In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate how to bring in geospatial data to FME Workbench 2017. So starting out, we'll go ahead and uh, create a new project here by opening a new workspace. And up here, we're going to start with our reader. So go ahead and click Add Reader. And for our format, we'll type in Oracle Spatial Object. And this is the part that we'll go ahead and demonstrate. Click Add Database Connection. And in the service name, we're going to put in our information. In this video, it is blurred out, but um, for those who are watching this video, um, for the purpose of bringing in a database connection, you will know what connection parameters to put in. Um, and in this case, we're using uh, operating system authentication, so Active Directory authentication. And uh, we can go ahead and click Save and move to the next step here. All right, we'll go ahead and click Parameters. And uh, on our table list value, we'll get this loaded up, and we can see we have all of our tables from the uh, service we're pulling from. We just chose one for this example, hit OK. We hit OK again, and OK a third time. Down at the bottom of the screen, you could see that thing getting loaded in. And sure enough, we have that. We can click Inspect to verify the information is there. So. The FME data inspector will load up, and in just a moment, our table view should load up as well. And there's a look at our data set. And we can look at it on a map, or we can look at it in table view right down there. So pretty useful. Looks like we got that data pulled in correctly. And we'll go ahead and back out now and uh, take a look at loading the same information in a different way. We'll go ahead and get rid of this reader. Click yes. Go back up to add reader again. And this time, we're going to pull in one of our REST services. So again, get ArcGIS service feature service. And then this is one of our REST services. It's a public REST service. So we just grabbed the entire link here. And in the data set field, we just copied and pasted that link. We can hit OK. We don't have to mess up the parameters in this case. And sure enough, there you go, another reader is out on our workspace. And just like we did with the last reader, we uh, went ahead and inspected it by right-clicking it and then clicking Inspector. And there you have it. We have a map up top that we can look at our data. Uh, and then we also have table view down here, just like our last reader. And there you have it, two ways to bring in geospatial data to FME Workbench.